Welcome once more to Sembu Dojo. This is Martial Fusion, kickboxing power workout number 13. So right in place, body relax, open and close. And breathe. Nice and relax. You're gonna give me two more like that. And out. And one more deep inhale and exhale. Right from there, body side to side, heels slightly up, knees slightly bent, everything is soft, everything is relaxed. Beginning that warm up, getting the body ready, and right from there in place, you're gonna start lifting those heels all the way to the back, lubricating the knees for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it all the way down, relax the arms. And uh, right there in place, just open and close. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the chest. Focus on your breath. Then small circles going back. Keep moving though and small circles going forward. Nice and limber, nice and loose. And then right from there, we're gonna just hold the position right in the center and we're gonna squat it all the way down and exhale. Stretch for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up, inhale. We're gonna hold it down again and keep the back straight. And five, four, three, two, and one. And inhale. And one more. Hold the position. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, Y uno, we bring it all the way up, and then right from there, nice and easy, we're gonna start with the bob and weave. Just keep that breath natural, body relax, nice swing down and up, using your legs, giving a little more flexibility to your lower back. And then right in place, we're gonna go for a full circle, all the way down and then full circle to the other side for four three two and one and hold it down in the center this time open a little bit further and push gonna start with light stretching so we're gonna pick one side hands down four five four three two and one soft transition move it to the other side and open cinco cuatro tres dos y uno back to the middle push back again body straight good stretch all the way up and squeeze then relax it all bring them in and back to side to side so we're creating this very strong but relaxed state for the entire system that's mind body in japanese martial arts there is a term called mushin the most accurate translation will be no mind sometimes you hear it like empty mind but it's not really about pushing anything out it's simply about the non-existence of the mental process so this is something that the more we continue to train it becomes a natural state of being this is the state of being in the moment this is the right state of mind for the martial artist so today we're going to be focusing on that 
empty state, the state of Mu Xin. And the best way to get there, the bridge, is your breath. So we're gonna go for one set of jumping jacks together. In 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0, 9, 7, 5, 3, and 1, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and back to that boxer shuffle. I like to experiment with the counts. We talked about in a couple of power workouts before, experimenting with language too. I think counts and language is the same thing at the end because it's gonna be a sound, a word, a pattern. But you have to focus in order to keep those present in your workout to go in and out of them in whichever way you choose. For that, you have to be connected. For that, you have to be present. All right, so you're gonna give me a fighting stance right here. And then today we're gonna start with a basic jab, cross, jab combination. We're gonna go for 10 of those. Hands are up, elbows are in. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back to the middle, jump rope, breathe it out, and keep relaxing. Keep focusing on making your breath deeper and coordinate the exhalation with the punches. So the same thing on the other side. Fighting a stance, hands are up, knees are bent, going for jab, cross, jab. Be aware of not dropping your hands while you punch, going for 10 of those. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Back to the middle, jump rope, and breathe it out, breathe it out. Okay, one more time, we're gonna get back into that center, low, stretch, and open again. We're gonna add a couple of stretches, since we're gonna be doing some kicks on the combination today as well. Wanna make sure that we're nice and limber, nice and stretched. So just like before, this time we're gonna put the supporting hand on the back and raise the toes of that leg that you are stretching so you can get a nice stretch of the hamstring. Use your other elbow to push further that knee to the back and then from there we can just roll into a lunge. Get a good stretch of the hip flexor. And then right from there, we're gonna keep that supporting hand on the ground and with the inhale, and exhale, reach all the way up, twist, open. You're gonna bring the hand back down. Place your back knee on the ground. Release the toes, halfway up, and then with the next inhale, open. And reach back. Look back. One more. Release everything and then bring it back to the middle. Nice, low, deep, open position. Stretch it. Then supporting hand goes to the back. Toes up, stretching of that hamstring. Opposite elbow pushes the knee to the back. Breathe it out. Then rotate to the lunge. Hip flexor. Supporting hand stays at the same level of your front foot. 
Then inhale, reach up, look up, open, look into the ceiling, look into the sky, and bring the hand back down on the outside, place the back knee on the ground, release the toes, halfway position right there to open up the hips a little further, and inhale up, stretch and open, and hold, and one more, and bring it all the way down, back to the middle, open and push, let's take it down for one set of push-ups, right in place, feet together on the back, nice and strong, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, y diez, bring it all the way up, back into that squatting, all the way, and back to jump rope, Mushin, no mind, is a flowing state where the mind is not really guiding anything, it's simply reflecting as a mirror. We're going to get back into that fighting stance and then today from that position we're just going to bring the front knee as a cover just thinking maybe we're receiving a low run house into that front knee and then we just want to absorb the head with the side of the leg as it comes up and you exhale 10 of those hands up and uno dos tres cuatro cinco seis Siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Okay, right from the same position now, coming from the back, we're going to rotate and with the rotation, we're going to bring that back elbow, that cross elbow into a diagonal hit, boom, strike and then just back into your guard. And then back into your guard for ten. Uno, dos, Tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Back to the jump rope. Notice how the breath becomes longer and deeper and stronger as we continue to move through the power workout. So, your energy is the highest currency. And what that makes everything possible is the fact that you focus on your breathing while you train. So take it into the other side. Same idea. My lead leg is going to come up as I exhale. I want to also bring my elbows in and keep my hands tight as a cover. So we practice that defense 10 times. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. From the same fighting stance, then from behind, you gotta rotate that heel on the back so it allows your backside to enter with the elbow diagonal strike down as you exhale and make sure that you keep the opposite hand up, protecting the side of your face. So elbow strike from the back, 10 of those. Ready, hands up. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back to the middle, hold it, and breathe it out, breathe it out. Okay, right in place now, we're gonna go for a set of 
15 squats. So a little bit wider, hip apart, get ready, exhale on the way down, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Hey, and then from there, loosen up your hamstrings side to side. Breathe it out. Good job. Okay, so we continue with that idea now, moving the body from side to side. And as we go, we step, step, release that leg. And step, step, release the leg as a stretch, dynamic stretch. As you release, you have to breathe out. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10 more, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, 9, 10. Nicely done. Back to the center. Keep it moving. So today we're talking a little bit more also about defense motions. Okay. So we're going to get back into that fighting stance, into the combination that we're building today. And we started with the basic jab, cross, jab. Right after that, now we're going to practice upper defense from the rear and upper difference from the lead and back to your fighting guard. So it's very important after you do the one, two, and three, you lift that elbow, make sure the wrist is really tight to the side of your head as you lift the elbow to receive the blow on the side. The other hand is gonna stay alert here, covering some, somewhat of the ribs. And the same as you switch sides. So you want to make sure that you have that awareness of going side to side as you switch. We're going to go for 10 reps of that. Jab, cross, jab, upper, upper defense. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You're going to keep the same guard. Since we're right in there, we're going to step in and start releasing that lead, Mawa Shigeri. Step in with the inhale, exhale, release the lead, round kick, 410. Hands up, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Well done. Back to the center. Hold it in the jump rope. Side to side. Breathe it out. So there is a beautiful image that I like to use to describe some of this idea of the Mu Shin, the No Mind. And we're going to start by picturing this glass of water. 
and we're going to grab a fistful of sand and pour the sand on that water and as the sand enters the water we can actually see how the entire clearness of the water disappears now by this cloud of sand finding its way through the water so i want you to keep that image present while we go into the other side and then we can wrap it up so on the other side we have the jab cross jab upper defense upper defense as we do this too one two and three it's very important that you rotate the hips by raising the heel on the back with the upper defense and when you switch sides you do the same on the other okay so that's what is going to allow you to have a full rotation and at the same time is giving you some protection on the legs in case you happen to get hit below so your legs not is standing still while you're receiving a hit on the side all right so it's important to raise those heels and rotate the hips as we do the combination 10 times jab cross jab upper upper defense ready one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten then from there stepping in lead leg for that mawa shigeri or round kick once again you gotta lean away as you inhale exhale with the release of that front round kick going for 10 hands that up and one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten back to your jump rope hold it in the center hold it in the middle relax it and then we get back to that glass with the fist full of sand traveling through the water this water that now becomes a dusty cloud moving all through if we take that glass and we leave it alone and we forget about it eventually that sand is going to find its way all the way through the bottom of the glass and the water once more will be clear the mind works in the same fashion this is what the purpose of your breathing exercises your yoga exercises your meditation exercises nothing but for all of those things to calm down at their own time and rhythm naturally for things to become clear and open this is the state of mushin no attachment no mind right in place going for one more set of jumping jacks oh no dos tres cuatro cinco seis siete ocho nueve diez ahí back down then we're gonna do another set of 15 squats right in place exhale on the way down and 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 y 1 
Ay. And release your hamstrings one more, once more. Relax it, breathe out. As you can see, I just like to be creative with the way I do my counts. I switch languages, I switch orientations, I switch the order of numbers sometimes. Everything is just an exercise for me to be present here in the moment and do not fall asleep because I'm always repeating the counts in the same way, which can become really hypnotic. So you always want to shift things around just to make sure that you're paying attention where those are. They always going to be the same ingredients, but it's the order, the intensity, and how they are being presented that makes you be awake. That is the purpose of your training. That is the purpose of the kickboxing power workouts. Ignite our energy so we can operate in a higher level of perception and response. So we're gonna go back now and we're gonna close it up. What do we got? We have jab, cross, jab, upper defense, upper defense, immediately lead round kick. So we're gonna go for 10 combinations on the same side. Keep them up. And one. Two. Three. Nice and fluid. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Hey, back to the jump rope. Hold it in the middle. Four. Itch. Knee. Sung. She. Go. Roku, Sichi, Hachi, Ko, and you. Into the other side. Same combination to close the workout. Jab, cross, jab, upper, upper defense, lead mawashigeri. Ready for 10. Nice and fluid though. Body working as one unit. Hands are up, knees are bent. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent, good job. Back to the center. Relax it. Bring the hamstrings all the way up. Limber them up. Focus on your breath. Bring it all the way down. Relax the arms. Keep breathing deep. Two more. One more. Open your stance a little bit, bend your knees, relax the hands down, and with the hands up, in. Exhale down. In. And out. In. And out. 
Then from there, feet together, hands together. Exhale. Hands go to the front, open right and left, draw in. Exhale, place them down all the way to the bottom of a push-up. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, sit on your knees, extend your arms, stretch back. Draw your body into Seiza, seated position, body straight, open your knees slightly, inhale, and exhale. Mi Sogi, purification through breath, in and out, in and out. Right from there, we can work it into squat. Just stretch it out a little bit. Try to keep those heels on the ground, your body straight. Then from there, we're just gonna open a little further. Use your forearms now to push your knees to the back. And we're gonna go into our final stretch just to close the power workout today. So extend your legs, open a little bit further. Let's see if this time we can bring those elbows down one at a time. And then once they're on the floor, you can release the head down and just breathe. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. And slowly start coming back up. You can bend your knees, bring your ankles together right from there, and then just roll yourself all the way into a standing position. Take another inhale with me. Let it go. One more. Deep, let it go. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. Together. Thank you for joining me once more at Marshall Fusion Senbudoyo. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to receive the notifications on the latest uploads. Feel free to visit marshallfusion.com to find all the kickboxing power workout videos. And remember, your energy is the highest currency.